we head to Bobby Asadorian's job site. Of course, he's our reno expert here on Hamilton Life. He's going to show you, first of all, how to do a bathroom renovate, re renovation, I should say, correctly with the right permits, and then he'll also show you how to tile. Hello, I am Just Ask Bob. Welcome to our job site. Permits, permits, and permits. Mark, if you want to zoom in here. This is the reason why any renovation goes wrong or can easily go wrong. When permits are skipped and when they're required. Here in specific, we have a basement bathroom that's been completely remodeled. City of Hamilton's been here three times already. They've been here to inspect the sewer rough-in. This entire floor was excavated. Mark, if you want to zoom in and highlight some of the rough-ins here. The one with the blue cap there, three inch, brand new line that was run in for the toilet. The other one for the sink, the copper for the water supply. City of Hamilton came, they inspected, they improved. Next time they came was to inspect prior to the drywall going up. This is an outside wall, so we have the potential for hot meets cold. So the City of Hamilton came to make sure that I did my job as I'm supposed to. Proper vapor barrier, proper taping of all the joints and seams. Then of course we had a visit from the Electrical Safety Authority, items such as GFI outlets, the power obviously for the vanity light fixture, exhaust fan to ventilate the bathroom. Very important. Don't let your contractor skip on the permit. Now let me take you into the shower stall here. Many ways to do the shower stall. Too many. They can all be dizzying. But what I approve, what I endorse is the Schluter Curdy board. This is amazing. This shower will never leak. You will never have problems. This is built for life. It all starts with the base, obviously. In this particular case, we have a cultured marble base, uh, stone type of a unit, very heavy. It's been set and thin set, and then everything continues from the bottom up. What I don't recommend is plastic. Please do your research. Don't install plastic bases. Now, we've got the thin set up on the wall. In this particular case, we're using a quarter by quarter notch trowel. Now, what I'd like to tell people is, Mark, if you can zoom in on this for a moment, please. There's very easy ways to find out what you need. You can pick this sheet up at almost any building supply center, look it up online. You match up the guides, which will tell you, depending on the size of tile you're using, what size notch, trowel notch you're going to need. Now, let's show you what we've done here. In this particular case, there's three methods to apply tile. Let's talk about the no first. There's mastic, glue resins, you know, white, a white type of uh, application compound. That's got too much glue and resin in it. I do not recommend that at all for a shower stall. That stuff's easy to use. Use it in your kitchen for your backsplash. There's no issue. Now, the proper way is thin set. Now, there are two types of thin set. You have unmodified and modified. Here we have to use unmodified thin sets because of the way it dries. Because of this curdy board that has the pink waterproofing membrane already installed on it, you can't use modified. Modified you would use if you weren't using this type of board and you were using something else like concrete board or dent shield. Now again, very important, these ridges. These ridges are what's going to support the tile. Ridge size, trowel notch size is all relevant. And again, you can find a chart or you can ask somebody what the information is. Now, what we're going to do is we're starting off with spacers because we want to leave a little bit of space for any, you know, expanding or contracting. Also, that'll leave the perfect edge for clear silicone. Now, we're going to install the oh, wrong tile. That's for the edge. We're going to install the tile. You want to bang it. You definitely want to have a little bit of a push there. You can see how every ridge is bumping into each other. Everything's not touching. Now again, I prefer using spacers because it keeps everything nice. A lot of the pros ridicule on them, make fun of them, but it's good to have the spacers. Again, we want to have some spacers on the bottom because we need to have that continual gap that will be for our reveal edge for caulking. Now again, you want to set it in. You can also use a rubber mallet, but I've been doing this for a long time. Now we've got the cut piece. Now this is the last piece, so I didn't set the spacer yet. Slide it over a bit. Now what I want people to understand is you've got three walls. You want to try to tile this one first because the other tile edges will butt in to fill in any irregularities in the wall. I am Just Ask Bob. Thank you for watching our segment. Tune in every Monday starting at 5.30. Thank you, Hamilton.